Okay, um, your name? My name is Greg Pence. And uh, what was your graduation year? 1975. Um, what were some major historical moments in your high school career? Oh gosh, I think my graduation, I was surprised I actually graduated. <laughs> Um, what was the school atmosphere like when you were here? So East had just opened up when I started school. So all of a sudden it was a much smaller school and our student to teacher ratio was much bigger mm -hmm. at that time. So it was lots of fun. You know, most of the building that is here today was here back then. So oh, yeah. it's fun to be here and see this. Oh yeah. Um, what did you enjoy most about high school? Here? Uh, friends. I actually still get together with my high school friends 35 years later, at least once a year. Next week in Washington, D.C., one of those friends is coming to have dinner with me on Monday. I love it. That's awesome. Um, so what was the rivalry like between North and East? North was always better. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> um, what was your favorite class and why? I think U.S. History was actually my favorite class. And shop was pretty cool, too. I, I don't know if they have shop like they do now, but that was really interesting. Mm -hmm. There was a teacher called uh, Mr. Baker. He would teach shop, and he was really a, he was a gruff guy that really taught you how to do hands-on things. Um, what was your favorite, who was your favorite teacher? Mm, Mrs. Leister, and she's still alive, and she does Shakespeare uh, once a month with my mother. Oh, that's cool. Uh -huh. um, what were your favorite restaurants in Columbus? Uh, oh, I think they're all gone, but the Dairy Queen used to be right over here by the subway on 25th Street. I used to go there a lot. You go there every day for well, school? Or what if for what lunch? I could afford. Yeah. Yeah. We had an open campus back then, mm -hmm. and we'd usually go out and get a sandwich. Um, where, what was the hip place to meet up? Pasquale's Pizza. Mm -hmm. on a, is it still there or you knew about it? No, but we've heard a lot about it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, oh, you some from other alumni, huh? Yeah. yeah, that was a cool place to go after yeah. a movie or something, after a game. Yeah. yeah. Um, who was the principal? Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. Um, did you do any senior projects? No. Uh, I don't recall we had that type of program where you did a senior project back then. Gotcha. Um, what did the yearbook look like when you were in high school, if you remember? Uh, well, we were just looking at the yearbook and looking at my picture. I had a great big afro and I was wearing a bow tie and a green and white uh, sports jacket, so I would look pretty cool. But it was a big deal if you were on the yearbook staff. That was, that was kind of a cool assignment. Um, do you remember how many people were in your school total? I think my graduating class was close to 500, and there were only sophomore, junior, and seniors here. Mm -hmm. So the school was probably 13 to 1,500 students gotcha. back then. Gotcha. Um, what were the hot styles back then? Uh, bell bottoms, bow ties, afros, long hair was in right? Mm -hmm. Everybody had long hair. <laughs> I get a kick out of now all the young people have short hair and I, I could have cared less if my kids had short hair or long hair because yeah. we rebelled against our parents with long hair. <laughs> um, what was the defining moment of your high school experience? If you one? I don't really have a defining moment. It was just a, the whole thing was a great experience. Um, what in your opinion made your time at North unique? Again, the friends, the lifelong friends, yeah, and the shared experiences as we were growing up. Um, what clubs or sports were you? So I swam, and I don't really remember the other clubs that I was in in high school. I don't know if they had as many clubs. Maybe they did, but I worked a lot. You worked a lot? I worked, yeah. Where did you work? Ray's Marathon. So I have some ones now. So when you were at North, did you see yourself becoming a politician? No, and I'm 62 years old and I've never been in politics until January 3rd of this year. So it came late in life. <laughs> so what did you envision yourself doing instead? 
Just going to college, uh, business, working, I really didn't have any plan. I didn't even have a plan what I would do after college. After college, I joined the Marine Corps and I was in the Marine Corps for five and a half years. Then I got out and I got a master's degree in business and then I went into business. It was more how I would pay for college, which I had to do because I'm the oldest of six. So I really didn't have a long-term plan of what I wanted to do. It was more what I had to do. Um, so looking back, how do you feel that your time, is no at, time at North like, shaped you as a person? I think Columbus North and Columbus is a very, very unique community. Many people from my class, classes before me and after me, have excelled in all different walks of life. You know, Columbus is just such a special place. It's always, it was a very diverse place when I was here too. Uh, and being able to meet people from all over the world and country, I had Hungarians living next to me. People of every ethnicity lived in my neighborhood in Parkside. So when I got out into the world, I kind of felt uh, more connected than I think other people do in an isolated community, and North certainly facilitated that. Mm -hmm. So going back, you said that you just recently got involved in politics. So when did your like passion for that start taking root and then lead you to your career? So back in 1988, my father died, and my brother, the vice president, was running for Congress, running actually for this seat, and I helped him after my dad died, because I'm the oldest in the family. So I, ever since then, for 30 years now, I've been involved in politics, but not as a politician. So f at some point, about three years ago, people said to me, why don't you run for this seat when it opens up? Um, so did you ever expect to become like such a household name in Columbus? I don't think I am, huh? I think Tony Stewart and Mike Pence are. I'm just Greg Pence. <laughs> uh, I feel like if you, if you said, like, I'm interviewing Greg Pence, like, oh, that's kind of yeah. cool. Uh, like, you know. Well, it is kind of cool, but it's, <laughs> I'm still just Greg Pence from Columbus, right? Uh, um, so outside of school, what were your main hobbies or pastimes? Like, how did you spend your free time? Pretty much working. We had to work a lot. Um, we knew that we had to pay for college back then, and which you could do if you worked hard. So I, I would work all summer long. I would work after swim practice in the evenings and on the weekends too. So that, I didn't really have any hobbies. I, know, I had friends that worked on cars and things like that, but uh, for us, we had to work. Okay, so lastly, how did your time at North have an impact on your career choice? I think it prepared me. It prepared me academically to go do well in college and then to want to continue to learn, to go on and get a master's in business. And then not too many years ago, I actually went back to IU when I was in my middle 50s and was working on a non-traditional PhD over in uh, Bloomington uh, in public finance. So, you know, just the focus on, it taught me how to learn. I think that's, that's the answer. Okay, well, that's it. That's it.